This video will provide general application guidance on field application of bolt wrap for use as an abrasion resistant outer wrap to protect the girth weld coating for trenchless pipe installations such as horizontal directional drilling. The application process begins with surface preparation. At a minimum, it is recommended that the surface preparation is performed on the overlap sections of the main line, approximately 6 inches on each side of the coated field drill. The bore wrap is a sacrificial arrow that is applied over the existing anti-corrosion coating. It is not a corrosion coating itself. Ensure that you are wrapping with the omnidirectional matting surface facing out, as we call it, chop on top. The woven side of the fiber looks like a checkerboard is to be placed facing the surface of the pipe. Begin the bore wrap application by wetting the surface of the area that the roll will be applied onto using a water sprayer. Water needs to be continuously sprayed onto the surface and underbelly of the roll as it is being applied. Note, there is no such thing as too much water in a bore wrap application. However, an insufficient amount of water can cause the product to cure very slowly and can inhibit the resin from flowing as it normally would. The bore wrap application should begin 6 inches beyond the leading edge of the field drain coating and terminate 6 inches past the trailing end. Wrap the material circumferentially to begin, ensuring that the leading edge has a minimum of 2 layers. Then proceed along the length of the pipe, wrapping with a minimum of 50% overlap. Ensure the wrap is completely saturated as it is being applied. When the wrap reaches 6 inches beyond the field drain coating, finish with one wrap circumferentially so that it ends with the fiber on top of fiber. Never leave a single layer of bull wrap hanging on its own from the back. The poly wrap should be applied quickly and with strong tension in order to compress the layers of bull wrap together and encourage the resin to flow. To ensure the ends lay flat and the resin can be retained, overlap the starting and trailing edge of the previous roll by a few inches on each side. Two to three passes with the Denso Poly Wrap should suffice. Bull wrap cures best at temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. When conditions are below that, external heating methods can be employed before the application, including using hot water. Conditioning the rolls by storing them in higher temperatures can also be helpful. To ensure the water doesn't freeze during installation or curing, a mixture of ethylene glycol or propylene glycol may be added up to 50% with the water. Once fully compressed, use the Denso perforating tool to puncture the poly wrap. This will allow for excess resin, moisture, and CO2 from the reaction to escape. Perforate using enough pressure to get through the Denso poly wrap, but not through the layers of bull wrap. Because pipeline construction timelines are often uncertain and bull wrap has limited UV stability, it is recommended that the poly wrap remain in place until the pipe is ready to be installed. When finished compressing with poly wrap and perforating, allow the roll to remain under compression while it cures. Resin may have escaped through the perforations. That resin is a fair indicator of the material's dry to touch time. When the material has fully cured, the Denso poly wrap may be removed. Cure can be checked by using a shore D gauge on the high point of the resin. Avoid measuring near ridges and fibers as the gauge tip can move. The product is ready to be used at a shore D of 65 or greater. <laughs> 